welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a sit down, chatty, get ready with me, makeup routine, video, all of those things um, with everything that's been going on with COVID-19 and the California shelter in place, lockdown situation, just everything. I thought this would be the most appropriate video to do first just so I could sit down and chat, touch base with all of you, share how I'm doing, see how you all are doing. I know this time is just a little intense right now, at least it is for me. So I just wanted to do a really chill, chatty video. Um, let's just get started. So I've just washed my face and I'm going to do my skincare now and I thought I would share with you what I've been using. So first I'm gonna start with this Laneige Cream Skin Refiner Mist. I think Ivan actually gave this to me to try. I really like it. I've, I've been kind of using this in place of my toner. It's got a really nice, milky, creamy, smooth texture to it. Now I'm going to add my serums. Um, this is the Soasu First Care Activating Serum in Forest Morning, the Forest Morning scent. It's usually in an orange bottle. It's one of my favorite serums. If it would just come out. But this one is like a special scented edition. Okay, I'm going to add... My second serum now, this one is from Paula's Choice. It's their C15 Super Booster, 15% vitamin C with vitamin E, ferulic acid serum. And I've been using this to help with brightness and also some of my hyperpigmentation. I have a few spots on my chin and I actually only had like one big breakout here, but then I had way too much time on my hands at home and I started picking at the other pores and blackheads on my chin and then it just kind of, this happened. I've learned when I have nothing to do and too much time on my hands, I just start picking at my face, which is not good. I'm gonna lock all that in with my moisturizer. I've gone back to using this one from Etude House. This is their Soon Jung 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. I used this a lot when I was breaking out when I had more acne and it really helped with my skin barrier. I really love this moisturizer. It's really nice. I have been practicing social distancing. I think I'm on, this is day nine for me where I've been trying to stay in more and it hasn't been too bad. I work from home, you guys know that. So the transition period wasn't so different, but I think it was kind of a shock to my system to absorb and accept that we're in the middle of a pandemic right now and obviously none of us have really gone through what this is like. So it was a little overwhelming. Really quickly, I'm going to prime my face first uh, with this Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer and the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. I've been using these for a while now, so it's nothing new. I've been following the coronavirus um, infection spread news since it broke out of China like around Lunar New Year was when it got pretty serious in my opinion and ever since then I pretty much embedded it into my morning routine to watch videos about it, read articles just to know what was going on and what was happening. It just really escalated so quickly in the US in the last couple of weeks but I do think it had to escalate so quickly because nothing was really done prior to that. I'm going to move on to foundation now. I'm going to use this one from Revlon. This is their Color Stay Foundation for normal to dry skin. It has a natural finish. Oh, there's actually SPF in this, so that's perfect. Like, has a little bit of SPF, especially since I'm not applying sunscreen. Um, and this is in the shade 295 Dune. I'm just going to dot it on my face and then pat it in with this beauty blender. I'm actually really impressed with this foundation. I haven't used a drugstore foundation in a while. I'm actually going to be working with Revlon on a campaign. Technically, it should have been done by now, but um, it got delayed because of everything that's been going on. But I was really impressed with this foundation and was really excited to work with them. Like, look at this finish. It just looks so nice. I'm also going to use their Color Stay 
concealer. This is in the shade 25 Creme Brulee. I'm just gonna go under my under eye area, the corner of my lips where I have like a dark spot. And then also a little bit on around my chin where my spots are. This concealer is great for the under eye area and everywhere else, but I noticed on my chin area, it just tends to cake up a bit more throughout the day. Probably because I applied so much, I probably didn't need this much, but it's okay. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm going to move on to my brows now. So I've been doing my brows a little bit differently where I'll put a little bit of clear brow gel on first. So this one is from Hourglass. It's like their brow shaping gel. And then I'll just go back to using my Anastasia Dip Brow. Usually I would just outline the shape first and then fill in, but now I'm trying to do more natural upward looking strokes throughout the entire brow. It's just a little bit more natural looking than what I usually do. I still switch off between the two different um, techniques, I guess you could call it. If you didn't know, I'm actually Chinese. I'm Chinese American. Um, I've never been to China, but my dad was born there. My mom was born in Vietnam, but her ethnicity is Chinese. And so culturally, I do consider China to be my home in some way. Um, it's my ethnicity. It's been really hard seeing the rise in xenophobia and hate crimes against Asian Americans and just really awful news headlines. Like, I think that they're, it's really irresponsible. I don't want to get too political or into it because be I could talk about it forever. It's just been really difficult to see, like, the videos that come out, the attacks on Asian Americans, especially, like, older Asian Americans who cannot really do anything to fight back. It makes me really emotional and every time I see or hear about those videos, I really just cry. <laughs> and that's kind of what my week has been like. And of course I would want to know rather than not know, but overall I would rather that these just this just didn't happen. I also talked about in my Instagram post, like I am worried about my family, but I think a lot about what they taught me growing up and that's how to be resilient through life and doing what you have to to survive. My grandparents collected soda cans and glass bottles from the neighborhood, from trash bins, and they would bring it to the recycling center and give that give that money to my uncle and my aunts. And even now, like back at home, we have a giant bin just for aluminum cans and glass bottles and stuff so that they can have it and have that extra money. That kind of resilience that I'm so proud of to have learned from them and gained from them and that's what makes me so proud to be a Chinese American. I do feel like people who have these racist thoughts and beliefs and are acting on it, I just feel like it was always kind of there. Like that racism was just inherently there but maybe buried and now that there's somewhat a reason that coronavirus originated in Wuhan, China, that that's a reason for them to act on these thoughts and beliefs now. I don't know if that makes anyone feel any better or worse, but it is kind of what I believe. The people who aren't racist or are not ignorant would not just automatically assume that every Asian American in the U.S has coronavirus or that Asian foods should be avoided. I just know so many hardworking Chinese and Asian Americans out there who own businesses, especially where I live now. It's just really heartbreaking to see. And you know, I'm just kind of leaning on the resilience that I've learned from my family growing up. And so part of me is like, I know they can get through this. I know all these businesses and Asian Americans, like I know we can survive and move past it. That's kind of what I'm holding on to. <laughs> but it is really hurtful. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my eyes now because that took me a really long time to do my brows. I'm going to take this Fenty Number no. 1 palette. I'm just going to take this neutral, creamy, beige shade, whatever you wanna call it, and just apply that all over my eyes as the base. Okay, now I'm going to take my Natasha Denona palette. You guys know I love this palette. I'm gonna use these two shades first, so this one um, all over the lid and then this one on top of it to um, create some shadow and death and whatever. I'm gonna be showing you this look that I've been wearing at home this past week. I think if you've followed me for a while, you know that I've definitely struggled. I think like a lot of Asian Americans um, struggled growing up looking different from what you see in the media. And I really 
didn't really accept or grow into my Chinese culture and identity. And I feel like I've come such a long way from that where I've loved my Chinese heritage. I love what it means for me because it's my family. Like how can I hate who I am, my ethnicity, when it's what my family has passed down to me. And I've worked really hard to love that part of myself. When I was a kid, like I really didn't. Like I didn't want to be different. I didn't want to look different or stand out in any way or whatever. So now I'm at a point where I'm not going to hide or deny that I'm Chinese. Like, especially with everything that's going on, I think it's even more of um, a time where I should be more vocal about it. That was a really serious topic to start off with, but now that that's out of the way, I can share what I've been doing this past week. Like I said, I was taking my time adjusting to the news. I did not really panic buy or anything. I did go grocery shopping a few times. But yeah, social distancing has been not too bad. I've been working out more. I've been doing Chloe Ting's like two week ab challenge and I just have like two or three more days left before I meet that two week mark. Um, but I've actually moved on to doing the Alexis Ren ab workouts and her like butt lower body workouts. Those are intense. I've been really enjoying them. Like I love feeling that I'm moving my body, getting more exercise in. I actually wanted to start doing Pilates because my best friend, she started doing Pilates and she really liked it. So I was looking into classes here. I'm taking the darker brown color now and applying it um, all over. I feel like I should come closer. I don't know why the light keeps changing. I'm really sorry if that's happening. The camera's just really sensitive. But um, yeah, I called the Pilates gym that was nearby that I wanted to go to, but by that time they had canceled their classes because their other patrons were worried because we're located in a heavily Chinese populated area and so they canceled their classes. I thought that was a little bit racist, but whatever it happened. I also just joined TikTok. <laughs> I've been trying to learn some dances. So if you want to see me attempt these dances very poorly, you can follow me on TikTok. My handle is the same as my Instagram, at HeySandyLynn. Yeah, I was not about TikTok for a while because I was like, another platform. I don't know if I have the time. It looks like it's a lot of time and it is, <laughs> but it's actually been really fun uh, trying to learn these dances. That has been kind of a nice distraction from everything um, that's been going on, just going through TikTok and looking at what people are posting. I think now more than ever, humor has been playing a really big part in keeping me sane. I've always been a big fan of satire and irony. What else have I been doing? Obviously, I've been cooking more. I was thinking of doing more cooking videos. It's been really hard to figure out what to film because I just didn't know what was appropriate to film during this time. Um, and I want to film more so that you guys have things to watch. Do you guys still want to see makeup videos when you're staying home more often? Um, let me know. Like if there's something that you want to see, like a type of video, just let me know in the comments. Now I'm using this brush. I wanted to use the taupe color on the under eye to smoke it out, but there's leftover red, so we're just gonna go with it. So what I've been using for the red is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint, and this is an M72. So I'll just squeeze a little bit out onto this brush, and I just add that to the outer corner on top, like right here. Then I'll take another brush to blend it out. And the reason I'm using the color paint instead of a red shadow is because I really like the color paints, they're really pigmented and they're like a creamy, they're like a paint. It's like much more creamier than shadows. So I feel like it would blend in much better on top of these other colors I've already used and it wouldn't look muddy, it would look nicely blended. I also have been watching you know, a lot more TV and YouTube. I started watching Kingdom. I can't believe it took me this long to start watching Kingdom because I remember when it first came out, I was really hyped about it, but then because um, it's in Korean, I wanted to wait until I could really sit down and read the subtitles. Um, if you don't know what Kingdom is, it is the uh, series on Netflix with uh, the zombies. It's a period 
period piece, I guess you would call it. It takes place in Korea when they still had kings and queens and stuff. And I love period pieces. I actually do love zombie movies. I think they're really fun if they're done really well. Um, so it's been really good watching that. I just started season two and I highly recommend it. I really like it. It's a fun watch. What have you guys been up to? What have you been doing to um, occupy your time? How are you guys spending your time at home if you're working from home? If you're not working from home um, and you have to go to work, I just want to say thank you so much because our communities would be in such chaos right now if it wasn't for you. And the reason I'm social distancing is because I do feel like everyone has a social responsibility to do what's right for the community and not just for themselves. And I do think that people who are being super reckless um, during this time, I think it is really selfish. I'm sure it sucks when like you're being responsible and you're seeing others not being responsible, but you can't let that deter you from not doing your own civic duty. And that's kind of my take on it. So now I'm just going to apply these lashes, our Dow Wispies today. Just something easy and light because I'm not going anywhere. The lashes are on, I'm just gonna curl them. I really shortcut on my under eye area and it's way too red now. So I'm gonna clean it up really quickly. Okay. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and wipe that off. Now I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs highlighter and this is in Fine Wine. This is what I initially did with the look, but I got lazy because I didn't bring it out here. But that was a mistake. I need two hands for this. So I'm just gonna use this to line the waterline really close to it. And I'm going to use this brush to soften up that line a bit. Okay, I like this a bit more. It's like more concentrated and not as dragged down. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I prefer this. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to contour. So I've been using the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. This is in amber. It's more of a cool tone. And I like taking their foundation 110 brush. I'm just going over it like this. And then pushing it into my cheekbone area and then the sides of my face also. I didn't bring my nose contour brush so I'm gonna try and use my fingers. Not bad. Yeah, that's okay. I don't, it doesn't need to be perfect, it's fine. For blush, I've been using this one from Kaja. It is their cheeky blush stamp and this is in Koi. I feel like this is a pretty neutral pink. It actually comes with this heart stamp, which I don't really like. I find it to be a bit hard to use. So what I really like doing actually is taking a sponge. This is the Fenty one. Taking the bottom part of it and putting it into the product here. It's like one sponge and another sponge. And then just pressing it into my cheeks. And it gives out this really pretty natural looking glow and blush and I really love it. Like I love this application. I used to use the blush stamp, put it directly on my skin and then use my fingers to blend out but it just, I didn't like that. Like this is just, it just comes out so nice with the sponge. I hope they just improve the sponge that they have on here. Like I, I love the heart concept, it's cute but I just don't like the applicator. Like this looks so nice, you know? <laughs> For a highlighter, I just grabbed the first one in my drawer and it's this one from Burberry. I've had this for a while now. This is their rose gold highlighter. It's really pretty. It gives off a really nice highlight. I'm gonna take this fan brush to apply it down the nose right there. And then also the tops of my cheekbones. And then for lip color, I'm gonna take two lip liners from Laura Mercier. This one is called Rosewood, and I'm gonna, I haven't, I mixed these two the other day and I really liked how it turned out. So it's a light pink shade. It's really cute, it's a really pretty pink, but I don't think it goes as well with this eye look, so I'm gonna go over it with Plumberry to mix the two together because I also think this is a bit too dark. 
I love using the lip pencil as a lip color because I feel like it just lasts for so long. The consistency is just so tacky, but um, I want this look to have a bit of a gloss uh, lip. So I'm just gonna take this clear one from M Cosmetics and put that on the back of my hand and use my finger to apply that just a little bit in the center. I think I saw Jessica Alba do this in her Vogue Get Ready With Me. She just did it in the center, so it would just be a little bit glossy. I don't know if it was her or someone else. And that's it. This is the final look. I hope you liked getting ready with me. I also wanted to talk about my Sundays series. Um, I know I haven't posted um, a video under that series in a while. That one is a little bit hard for me. It's really hard for me to share all of my thoughts in a concise way because they are just a bunch of jumbled thoughts that somehow tie together on the end. Ultimately, it's just really hard opening up. So I haven't been comfortable filming one of those videos. I think all the things that I do want to talk about in a Sunday's video revolves around coronavirus, but it's become very political, um, politicized, and I don't want to... I just don't want to go there. I'm not ready to do that just yet, and I think even with this video, I know it's a little bit different from what I usually want to talk about. I think I'm more open to sharing my thoughts on that on Instagram or sometimes occasionally on Twitter. I always thought of YouTube as a space to more to share my uh, creative ideas and have it be a space just for fashion and makeup and vlogs and fun stuff but I think it's harder to keep that separate from what is happening right now. <laughs> So I hope you didn't mind that this video is a little bit different in terms of the topic that I usually would talk about. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't think any of this is surprising to you to hear from me, but um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then it might be a little bit different. I do want to create more videos, um, like I said, for you all to watch and enjoy, but I did feel like I had to make this one first and just really touch base with everything and um, I don't know why I'm speaking so quietly right now. I think it's because it's really quiet outside and I feel like a lot of my neighbors can hear it and possibly see what I'm doing. <laughs> so it makes me a little bit more anxious because I know everyone's like home home. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you're all staying safe and washing your hands and you know just know that we're all in this together i think that thought alone is just really comforting to me we're not alone in this we're all going through this together and we will get through this but we have to do it together so um i hope like i said that you're all safe and doing all that you can for yourself for your family for society for everyone around you thank you for watching i will see you in my next video very very soon very soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.